terrorizing this mm. shit, man. Mm -mm -mm. A little boy who was critically injured in a horrific attack at the Mall of America in 2019. He and his mother are sharing his remarkable journey from tragedy to recovery. Eva Pilgrim here with the exclusive interview. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, guys. They were celebrating the end of preschool, but Mom Carrie told me she had this weird feeling going into the mall, so she prayed what would seem like a simple prayer, that God would protect her Smash. and her son. She says she could never imagine what happened next, but she believes that her son is alive today because God answered that prayer. There's not a day that goes by that I don't look at him in complete awe. This morning, for the first time, Carrie Hoffman and her eight-year-old son, Landon, are speaking about the day that changed their lives forever. A five-year-old boy is fighting for his life this morning after a stranger threw him from a balcony. When your friends ask you about <laughs> what? what happened to you, what do you tell them? I tell them that it was me that got thrown, and they say, really? And then I show them everything on me, and then... They believe it, and then sometimes, like, some people don't believe it, but I don't care if they do or not. I just care that lots of people do care about me, and I care about them, too. A stranger came up and was a bit whispering to these two little boys. It happened in a blink of an eye. He snatched them and ran, <laughs> and I was just frozen. Like, what? You can't react? It happened so fast. And then I screamed, no, after he was already thrown. Carrie says she immediately... Now, you know the Mall of America or how many floors that he threw that motherfucker off that fucking top. Fucking yeah, he ain't shit. Immediately I ran to then five-year-old Landon, the stores in what is the largest mall in America. Look at that fall. Mm. Just watch then where he threw Landon, from. The stores in what is the largest mall in America weren't even open yet, but several nurses happened to be inside rushing to her side to help. And then the nurses are working at him and they would say... Think we got a heartbeat and i would say you bet we got a heartbeat and they're like we think he took a breath and i'm like yes he took a breath landon was rushed to the pediatric icu carrie staying every night by his side in those early days what were you asking god for complete healing and restoration we're walking out here we're not going to leave here in a wheelchair he was thrown three stories i mean they're not like normal stories in a house he caught himself he landed that's why his arms were broken and his nose was smushed. Then I believe that angels caught him because I prayed for angels coming in there. What did the doctors tell you? All of them. This is a miracle. He should not be here. The man who threw little Landon, 24-year-old <laughs> Emmanuel Aranda, had pre- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looked like he was pretty safe. He was in good hands. <laughs> if you ever lost, our babysitter on Yelp. If you ever lost, go find a big black man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Mr. Sunman, I'm lost. <laughs> he threw that kid off the top floor of the biggest mall like, in the fucking country. Well, I mean, in his defense, maybe his he saw the kid's mom on the first floor and wanted to expedite the trip to the mother. <laughs> hey, you forgot your kid, bitch. Yeah, yeah, man. Here you go. Woo. Shit, man. I mean, just through her alley oop. She said it happened in moments. It was no <laughs> argument. The kid didn't call him the N word. It was just straight up like he just grabbed him and just threw him. I see his motherfucker yeah. in court. <laughs> Ain't my fault she couldn't catch him. This right. Is crazy. <laughs> Jesus. What did the doctors tell you? All of them. This is a miracle. He should not be here. The man who threw little Landon, 24-year-old Emmanuel Aranda, had previous run-ins at the same mall, including two arrests there in 2015. Aranda who gets arrested at the mall this much? It still gets just there. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with these people? There in 2015, Aranda was sentenced to 19 years behind bars after pleading guilty to first-degree attempted murder in 2019. The prosecutor reading the family's Damn. statement at his sentencing. I refuse to be full of anger and hatred. I refuse to let you take my joy. My sweet, precious baby, my amazing gift from God is going to be... Oh, was he on the streets during the trial? Exactly. Oh, How was he even loose? <laughs> You know, this guy looks like he was out on board. <laughs> but, but they said he was sentenced to 19 years in 2019. No, this mm, is not for this. for this. That was for this. Oh, this oh, okay. oh I thought he yeah. was sentenced for No, he, he was sentenced in 2019 for this. Oh, but okay. it's like, 
he was it looked like he was on the street during the what well, you know what I'm saying? Wait, no, the, he should have on a, a, a orange a jumpsuit. Soup. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit is crazy. my sweet precious baby. My amazing gift from God is going to be okay. <laughs> you say you forgive him. I think that's oh, something that's really hard for God. Mm. Forgive him for that, man. Listen, I want to kill his whole fucking family, man. I want to hack his fucking mom's <laughs> eyes out with a fucking goddamn ice pick. The fuck are you talking about? Forgive him. He literally walked up, grabbed your kid, and threw him off the top floor of the biggest mall in the fucking country. I'm provoked. For no reason. I would want to see him lashed with one of those slave whips until he fucking just died. If he right. threw my son off that fucking balcony. <laughs> Yo, I, I I mean, he said I'm lost. Help me, big boy. Yeah, man, this is this is crazy. <laughs> like, what, like, I mean, what the um, what are we doing, America, man? We're telling the kids to the safest person to if you is a black. <laughs> For a lot of people to understand yes and i don't believe that forgiveness is a feeling i think it's a decision that you have to make and i needed to remove him from my mind i was in the mode of we're healing land and landon's living this has nothing to do with that man in 2021 the family filed a lawsuit against the mall at the time they say landon they medical filed a lawsuit against the mall <laughs> wow that's I'm crazy. The mall's fault? I mean, for letting him back in there, yeah. I guess you could yeah. say that. But it's no, like, how the it. fuck are they going to know that? Like, he, right? It's, it's the mall. largest mall in America. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I didn't know this one guy's back in there. Right. Man, that's that, a lot. To put that said it was fucking face painted on every fucking mural in there, bro. But then that would be right. Could you imagine some black guys? Oh, God. Like, and on, and he wouldn't be the only one. It would be like 30, <laughs> oh, yeah. 40, 50 <laughs> other niggas. Be 100. Oh, what yeah. You... What, what do you think that band list look like <laughs> from all of the Americas? Oh, but wait, oh, this boy. It would, be like a, it would be like a thousand of them on there, man. You, <laughs> yo, trust me, man. They terrorizing this mall. Medical bills totaled more than $1.7 million. That suit has since been settled in a confidential agreement. The Mall of America now working with the family to improve safety, saying in a statement, they are jointly pursuing policy changes to existing trespass limits for violent criminals so as to give greater ability to preclude such persons from their premises. Landon spent four months hospitalized, two broken arms, a broken leg, facial fractures, and a brain injury. You're in there just trying to complete your daily task of we're healing this now. His wrists are now healed. His elbows are now healed. Okay, now we healed his leg. It was like what, checking off. It was always a countdown to something, which makes the time go. Landon, you're doing the Landon dance? Yeah. While being in the hospital was difficult, Landon also has many happy memories there. What about the hospital do you remember? Eating the popsicles. Every step of the way, Landon determined to get better. And you think he'll have a completely normal life now? I think he can have the life that he wants to have. Yes. Welcome home, Landon. Today, Carrie's prayers for healing have been answered. Landon is an active, excited, soon to be nine year old. The dude gave me this, and the dude is at the hospital, and he's um, a guy that he plays bingo. He loves his cat, Joy, and playing hockey. I'm going oh, on these, and you get the puck. Salute, salute. That's a that's beautiful, man. I'm glad that this kid made a full recovery, man. Or maybe it was not this full, but like, this this is great. This is great. And playing hockey. I'm going around these, and you get the puck, and then you score. Now, nearly three and a half years later, this family wow. filled with gratitude. These journals from those many tough nights, and this scrapbook, a record of what they have been through. I'm so thankful for breath, for life, for heartbeats. It's just, you take those things for granted until they almost got taken away from you. And Carrie told me she wanted to share their story now because she wants people to know they were given. Notice they didn't talk to dad. 
Yeah, dad, 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 don't ain't with all that forgiveness shit. Yeah, d- dad sharpening a machete every day, waiting for this motherfucker to get out on the street. Yeah, dad, 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 look at sun men differently. Dad, man, I'm sorry, man. If if <laughs> if a white dude, if if a random white dude somewhere could say something rude to some random black dude somewhere, and all black people looking at all white people with the side eye after that. What the <laughs> fuck are white people doing after this? You're walking yeah. through the mall with your kid and some random black dude just runs up, snatches him, and throws him over the fucking ledge? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are they thinking? Well, I don't know what they could do, but they better not say the song. Right. right. Oh, they almost got taken away from you. And Carrie told me she wanted to share their story now because she wants people to know they were given this miracle. It has been a long journey to healing, but having him is something she celebrates every day. And guys, the recovery is remarkable. Just this last weekend, he scored multiple hat tricks in his (laughs) hockey scrimmage. He told me that Ovechkin is his favorite hockey player. And he is a miracle. He is a miracle. I got so many chills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's remarkable that he is is where he is today and he's doing as well as he's doing. That's great. Yeah, thank the you. black people are so happy because everything turned out right. Thank God he survived. If this was a white black white dude who did this to a black kid, if this was a white guy who pushed a black kid, they're both standing on the ground. He pushed the black kid like into like a a soda machine or something, and like in a fucking ball. This story would be way bigger. This would be huge. This would be fucking. Both these people would not be smiling at you. No, that's end. exactly I what I was going to say. Thing. They would not be smiling at the end of it. They wouldn't even be talking about thankful for healing yet, man. They'd still yeah. be talking shit. Yeah, right. Like, revenge and shit. Like the country. Especially this country is big ass. He definitely has some shit to say. Ac- accountability. A reckoning. This is a reckoning in America. America's at a crossroads. As a country, we got to decide, do we want to be, do we want to go into the future or do we want to go back to 1864? They be talking all types of crazy shit. Hockey player. Uh, and he is a miracle. He is a miracle. I got so many chills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's that a remarkable that it he is. is where he is today and he's doing as well as he's doing. That's great. Yeah. Thank you for 